Hey everyone, and of course, hello to all of my water filter fanatics out there. I have been super excited to put together today's video for you all because I truly believe that this is something every household will be able to benefit from. So in today's video, we will be looking for the very best water pitcher filter by testing all five of these water pitcher filters and sending them off to a certified laboratory to be tested. The five filters that we chose were based on filter effectiveness and overall popularity. We chose the Clearly Filtered, Epic Nano, Water Drop, Zero Water, and your standard Brita. The lab test we use is TAPSCORE by Simple Lab. This is a third-party testing service that provides a 0 to 99 water score based on measuring 109 different contaminants like chlorine, PFAS, heavy metals, and more from your home's water. Now, I really want to stress the importance of testing at a certified laboratory versus other testing methods such as using a TDS device or basic water testing strips because this has allowed us to get the most accurate and impartial results to objectively decide the best water pitcher. The first step in this process was to collect water samples from two different locations to find water that was bad enough to put these pitcher filters to the test. These were both taken in the Minneapolis area from two different residences. Both results were less than ideal, but the first residence that scored a 44 out of 99 was the worst, putting it in the bottom 25% of residential water in the United States. Therefore, this is definitely the water we will be using for today's analysis. All of these pitchers were brand new and had never been used. To begin, we prepared all of the pitchers and primed the filters by running water through them before collecting our samples. To ensure all filters received the same water dispatch, I filled a large bucket with water from the testing site to fill each pitcher. I used a funnel for the actual testing samples and of course wore gloves to avoid any tainting of the water. And lastly, after completing all five samples, I taped up each sample kit box, put the included shipping label on top to drop off at the post office. So now that we've collected samples from all five of the water pitchers, the testing kits are ready to be delivered and tested at the lab. I'll be right back with you as soon as we get the results so we can see which water pitcher aced the test. This is the moment that we've all been waiting for as we have received the results on the five water pitchers that we tested during our last video. So before we dig into the results, I am going to briefly explain how the benchmarking is calculated and scored. For all of the tests, we use the Advanced City Water Testing Kit, which analyzes 109 different factors and provides an overall water score out of 99. Now, as a reminder, our baseline untreated water use for testing scored a 44 out of 99, which is in the bottom 25th percentile of municipal water in the United States. The reason that the water results were so low was based on uranium and lead exposure. And we all know that any amount of lead exposure is too much and can lead to serious health consequences. Additionally, there were also concerning levels of fluoride and other heavy metals like barium, copper, and manganese. Therefore, the water filters that did not remove these harmful contaminants received a lower score. Now, let's see how the five different water pitchers performed at removing drinking contaminants based on the lab score rankings. The top performing pitcher overall was the Clearly Filtered, which scored a 98 out of 99. Next were the Water Drop and Zero Water pitchers, which both scored an 87 out of 99. Following closely was the Epic, which scored an 83 out of 99. In last place, by a wide margin, was the Brita pitcher, which scored a 45 out of 99. You can see the full laboratory reports on all of the water test results, a filter pitcher comparison table, and exclusive discounts in the description below. Now let's dive into the data on why some pitchers perform better than others. Starting with the two biggest health detractors are heavy metals, lead, and uranium. The EPA has a max lead concentration level of 15 parts per billion in drinking water. However, they set the maximum contaminant level goal for lead at drinking water at zero because again, lead can be harmful to human health even at low exposure levels. Lead can come from things like plumbing in the home and in the water supply lines or from brass fixtures or solder. The bottom line here, folks, is that the top priority was to remove the lead and fortunately all of the pitchers tested did indeed remove 100% of the lead. The uranium concentration in our tap water was also elevated to a concerning level. Although all water has some amount of radioactivity, constant exposure to radioactive elements is known to cause damage to tissues and organs and increase risk for certain types of cancer. 
The good news is that again, all of the pitchers removed 100% of the uranium from the water. Now let's get into where the filtration performance diverges. Other heavy metals like copper and barium were present in our source water. The clearly filtered removed 100%, the Brita removed 93%, the Zero Water removed 86%, Water Drop at 82%, and the Epic Water at 66% removal. With copper, which generally enters drinking water through plumbing corrosion, the Epic Pitcher removed 100%, while the other four pitchers removed between 91 and 96%. So a pretty strong showing across the board. Surprisingly, the Brita actually added contaminants like cobalt and nitrate. Since our source water contained none of these in the baseline test, it was a bit concerning that these showed up only in the Brita water tests. Next, let's take a look at fluoride removal performance. Fluoride is commonly added to municipal water for its ability to reduce tooth decay. Whether it should be consumed is a debated topic that we won't get into, but what we can show is these filters ability to remove it. We can see the clearly filtered and the Brita removed 100% of fluoride while the Epic removed 66% and the zero water and water drop did not remove any fluoride. Another area of concern was strontium. This one is especially important to note because elevated levels of strontium are associated with bone and cartilage development issues in children. Here we can see the clearly filtered removed 100% of the strontium and the rest of the pack removed around 75% while the Epic removed 8%. Lastly, let's take a look at some quick qualitative data points for the water pitcher results. The pH levels of the filtered water were all between 6.5 and 8.5, which is where you would want it. A pH of pure water is 7, with a lower number being more acidic and a high number being more alkaline. Water hardness can create bad tastes and be drying on your skin, but it can also lead to corrosion, which leads to the release of heavy metals in your plumbing that have adverse health effects like lead. The clearly filtered water drop in Zero Water did an excellent job at reducing water hardness, while the Brita reduced hardness by 40% and the Epic by 7%. Now that we've covered all of the lab test results, it's time for the big question. Which water pitcher is the best water pitcher filter? Based solely on laboratory data, it is the clearly filtered pitcher. It removed 100% of the high priority contaminants like lead, uranium, and fluoride. Importantly, it did not add any contaminants to the drinking water and it maintained a near perfect pH balance of 6.6. .6. The Water Drop, Zero Water, and Epic had their own puts and takes, but all had positive overall performances. All three removed 100% of lead and uranium. The Epic removed 67% of the fluoride, while the Zero Water and Water Drop removed zero. The Brita fell seriously short of its expectations. Although it has its strengths, the Brita struggled to remove some contaminants, but more importantly, it actually added heavy metals and nitrate back to the drinking water, which was a big detractor. I do want to reiterate that we used one water sample from a single location and that every water source is different and could have a different result. So to wrap this up, you guys, this whole experience has been completely eye-opening and has really underscored the importance of filtering my water to get rid of all of those nasty contaminants. We've also done some reverse osmosis lab testing if you want to check that out in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Thank you so much for joining and we'll see you next time.